Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to customize the look and feel of your footage, if you're looking to evoke certain emotions from your footage, then look no further than the FCPX LUT Loader from Pixel Film Studios. Now, what makes this tool so special? Well, number one, it's a great way to color correct or grade your footage without having to use any other software. You just stay right in Final Cut Pro 10. Now the paid version, which you can get for a 30% discount with code 9to5pixel, features 3,000 LUTs and growing, but there's also a free version that gives you access to each LUT for just 99 cents. So however you want to go about it, this is a great way to customize your footage in Final Cut Pro 10. So first of all, let's talk about how to add the LUT loader to a clip in the timeline. So all you do is go to the effects panel, find the Final Cut Pro 10 LUT loader, drag it to a clip in the timeline like that, and you're good to go. The next step is to simply log in to the LUT editor. Now above that button, you'll see instructions, but you don't need instructions because this thing is as easy as it gets. So let's go ahead and click the LUT editor and you'll see where you can log in using your Pixel Film Studios account. So you just go ahead and log in here. I'll put in Jeff at 9to5Mac.com, put in my password, and then just log in. So there's actually two versions of the FCPX LUT loader. The free version allows you to purchase each LUT individually. So if you know you don't need a lot of LUTs, you can purchase each one for just 99 cents. But you can also import your own LUTs that you already own and get a preview of those LUTs, along with the ability to combine and mix your imported LUTs with others. But if you know you're gonna use a lot of LUTs, it makes sense to pay for the full version, which is $39.95, but nine to five Mac readers and viewers get a discount. But look here, 3,000 different LUTs and growing folks. They're always adding new ones to this package. And as you can see, there's just a plethora, a wealth of different LUTs you can choose from here. And they're all categorized as well. So let's talk about how to view LUT categories. You go up here, twirl down the disclosure triangle, and then you'll see all the various categories like black and white, so all those different styles there. Colorful, look, there's over 300 colorful LUTs, over 100 soft LUTs, 142 tone LUTs. I mean, look at this. This is crazy how many LUTs you get access and they're all categorized for your convenience. Super nice. Now with all these LUTs, obviously you're gonna to wanna to be able to search. Thankfully there's search built right in at the bottom of the interface so we can just type in something like pop and then you'll see all the LUTs that include that particular keyword. All right, so let's talk about how to add a LUT to a clip. So all you do is you find the LUT you wanna add and then simply click like that and it adds that LUT to the clip and you see an instant preview of it at the top. Now you'll see a preview timeline with the playhead and you can actually move that like this so you can get to different parts of the clip to see how that LUT affects the entire clip. So one part of the clip may look good with that LUT but you wanna make sure the entire clip looks good. And disabling a single LUT is super easy. All you do is you click this little button right here, just like that, and that will disable the LUT. Turn it on again to re-enable, just like that. You can also change the LUT intensity using a little slider right there on the LUT. So if you put your mouse over, you'll see this little grab handle. Just drag that down. You can change the intensity from zero to 100%. Super simple, super easy. Now, if you would like to remove a single LUT, all you'll do is click the X that appears in the upper left-hand corner above the LUT. Just click like that, it disappears. But the really cool thing about this plugin is that you can add multiple LUTs. So not just one, but no, you can add up to eight different LUTs to the same clip. So let me find another here. And we'll add that one, just click. So you can see I have two LUTs now running at the same time. And now we're gonna add several additional LUTs. So we got one more, another, and we'll add another and another, just continue to add them. Like I said, you can have up to eight LUTs at the same time. Now that's awesome and all, but the really powerful part of this is when it comes to mixing LUT levels. So you can turn down the intensity of all the added LUTs and really come up with your own custom look. One that is completely custom based on your preferences here. 
So notice how I'm just modifying the intensity of each of the LUTs, coming up with my own custom look, just like this. Super simple, super easy. And as you can see, just dialing in the perfect look for this particular clip. And of course, your, your look's gonna be different based on your needs, based on the feeling that you're trying to evoke from the footage. And yeah, and remember, you can also turn each LUT on or off as well, or remove them, add additional ones. So you turn that one on and off. But really, it's up to you how you customize the look. That's the whole point of this. Now, if you wish to hide all LUTs, you don't have to go and individually disable each one. You just click this little I button here, and that will disable all the LUTs in one fell swoop. And of course, it will also re-enable all the LUTs. So just click it again to re-enable, click it again to disable, just like that. Now, you can also quickly reset all mix values to default. So right to the right of the I button, you'll notice this button here, you click that, and that resets all mix values to default. So they all go to 100%. So that way, if you didn't like how the mix was turning out before, you can just start over, start from scratch, and then go in and start mixing again. Super handy way to start over quickly. And you can also remove all LUTs at once just by clicking this remove all LUTs button just like that. That removes all the LUTs no matter how many you have added to the clip. Now, sometimes you come up with these awesome looking combinations and you're like, hey, I don't wanna lose that. I actually wanna use it on future footage, I don't wanna lose it. So let me show you how you can combine multiple LUTs, create your own mix, and then save that custom combination. So I have one LUT there added. Let's go into our categories and find another. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. I mean, I guess it's okay, but now nah, let's go ahead and start somewhere else. <laughs> How about that one right there? So wedding and shadow together. Actually kind of like that look. That's a good starting point. Let's go ahead and alter the intensity of both LUTs a little bit here. And I'm kind of digging that. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. But now that we have a nice base, we can just click the combo button here and then create our own LUT combination that can be referenced at any point in time in the future. So I'm just gonna call it Wedding Shadow, combining the two LUT names, click Confirm, and let's go ahead and twirl the Disclosure Triangle back up, and let's delete the two LUTs that we have here. And now we'll go to our combinations, twirl that down, you see it, Wedding Shadow, just click it, and then click Confirm, and there you go. So not only do you have both LUTs, but the mixes are intact as well. Now, if you stumble upon a LUT that you just know you're gonna to wanna to use again in the future, you can favorite it just by clicking a little heart icon in the upper right-hand corner, just like that. And we'll find one more LUT. So let's go to our all section here and we'll make sure we heart wedding. There we go. So now if you go to the favorites category, you're gonna find the two LUTs that you saved as favorites for reference later. Now, FCPX LUT Loader allows you to export your custom LUTs. Just click the export button here and then give it a name. So we'll just call this LUT Wedding Shadow. How about that? And then just click save. The cool thing about this is that it saves it as a cube file. So you can actually import this custom LUT into any other application or hardware device that allows you to import 3D LUTs in cube format. It's so nice to have this feature. So once you build them, you, they don't just have to live within FCPX LUT loader. No, you can see right here, weddingshadow.cube. You can actually take that and use it anywhere that allows you to import LUTs in cube format. Now you can also create custom LUT categories which work sort of like folders. So click the category button in the bottom left hand corner Give your category a name, I'll just call it Jeff's Stuff, and then click the Confirm button. So that creates a new category under Favorites. So now I can assign my LUTs to that category. Just right click, select the category to add to, and choose Jeff's Stuff in this case. So there you go. Super simple, super easy. Now what if you already have a whole bunch of LUTs? Can you import those? Of course, just click the import LUT button in the upper left hand corner, 
find your LUT that you wish to import. Here it is, keep format, import it, and there we go. So there's our LUT, the C200 to Alexa LUT, and I can apply this to my raw log footage, just like that. It looks pretty good right out of the bat. Obviously you need to mess around with some of the contrast and stuff like that, so I'll do that right now. So we'll go up to our color board, and change up the contrast a little bit, there we go. So there's without the LUT, there's with the LUT, without, with it. So it goes from flat to lots of contrast in its own custom look. And then finally, you can fine tune the look of your footage with post color adjustments. So you can go in there and just perform small tweaks to your footage as desired. And you can make big tweaks as well, as you can see here. But really, this is all about fine tuning your color to get it looking just like you want it after you add the LUTs, you build your LUTs and everything else. So ladies and gentlemen, FCPX LUT Loader, there's both a free version where you can download desired LUTs for just 99 cents, or there's the paid version, which is significantly discounted by using the code 9to5pixel at checkout. That version includes over 3,000 LUTs with more to come. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to get more out of your footage, to really customize the look and feel, evoke certain emotions with your footage, then this is the way to go. Final Cut Pro 10 LUT Loader from Pixel Film Studios. Again, use the code 9to5pixel at checkout for a whopping 30% off. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section and special thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube.